Hey guys, welcome yet again to another showdown sweep. I'm Mr. Lucky Luke, and today's one we got ourselves a what's it called? Our Bolivia sweep. Now, this is gonna be a very interesting matchup where I'm gonna be using a very, very interesting grass, and that's really a, <laughs> it's like really weird grass type uh, Pokemon, and I'm gonna be see how to exactly work with it. But uh, first of all, I want to say I am glad I have finally returned to usually my usual content and all that stuff, so I can finally sure that I have to you know, worry about you guys too much because I know you guys will be up, uh, will be sticking, uh, will be always with me whenever you feel like this. So yeah, uh, yeah well, if you want to, <laughs> either way. So looking at the Olivia, we're going to be seeing how to exactly be using this. So it has a very good, this 125 high special attack it gets. I uh, get also 109 for special defense, and really other than that, it's solid but not the best. So I got a 90 for defense, physical defense, uh, 78 for HP, 69 for attack, nice, and 39 for its speed. So it's a really not exactly a good mod to make a use of a sweeper, but I was thinking of figure out a way to make it a good sweeper. I'm also hearing uh, sound in the back. I hope it, in the background. I hope you guys aren't hearing it. But anyway, so <laughs> looking at it, I was thinking. Well, first of all, we can use of its one of its. Uh, it's a, not a signature move, but it's a signature ability. C power for the sweep. Most people definitely run C power with it, and I was gonna th uh, figure out a way to run its C powers and ability for the sweep, but unfortunately, <laughs> that is not the case because we'll be gonna be using fortunately a different set because. With this move pole and it's it's like combination with the stats and all, unfortunately Oblivia C power is rather useless. So we'll be going to be using a harvest uh, uh, strategy, and by the most people are probably thinking, well, is it going to be a common Citrus Spirit set? <laughs> well, I'm not going to tell you. So looking at its it, stats, it is a grass normal type. Actually, it's not a, just a grass type. I just found that out. It also a normal type. So. Grass and normal is it's a unique type, not the most creative, but it, it's something better than nothing. So it is <laughs> good against um, water, grass, oh, gra grass, I mean ground, <laughs> water, ground, rock, and that's it really. <laughs> um, and then we got normal type, which is not a, a super effective type. It just it's it's just a normal type. So we can't really make use of that. So. Looking at its move, Paul, we have a lot of options, but I figured out the best option to run the set, and I hope you guys and girls are going to enjoy this one. And hopefully I'm going to make this, uh, this this first take without a problem. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much really it. So I'm pretty much winning for the first battle. We just went straight out the bat, and the other battles is going to be similar as the first one. So first one, this is going to be just a little bit of fun, the first round salt, and I uh, hope you guys and girls are going to enjoy this one. I will give you a full explanation after the sweep, and enjoy. The of Olivia. Alright guys, hope you guys enjoyed the first one. As you saw there, there was some, some weird salt coming out in the first battle. I was really hoping that if, uh, that I was actually going to win this one. But somehow the opponent didn't like me getting a sweep or something with an Arbolivia. And they kind of had to rage quit for no reason. So we got another... Uh, uh, we actually, by the way, have four battles in this one. And the first one was a complete success. Now looks... Uh, uh, okay, hold on a second. I'm just double checking. Yeah, okay, I'll double check it. So, yeah. So, for the next battle, we're just going to go almost similar strategy. Uh, for this sweep, uh, this uh, battle, we actually had a random battle. I actually wasn't really going for an Oblivious sweep. I was actually just doing a random battle in general. And I was just testing my team <laughs> while I was doing it. So, we got an Observer Rail, and I went for a Hurricane. Got a critical hit on the first turn. So, I was like, nice, that's great. And the opponent's going to go for a Substitute. So, I wonder what kind of Substitute would this be? I went for a Rock Tomb, and then uh, they went for a Belly Drum with 19 HP. Great. <laughs> so it's a really a basically a competitive huge power um, Aqua Jet set, probably by the looks of it. 
I got a, f a crit on the uh, fire spin, which was pretty nice, actually. <laughs> Lucky twice. So, yeah, really wasn't exactly, um, wasn't exactly hoping that this is going to be one of those battles that is going to be, like, a spam battle where they're going to just belly jump and just aqua jet me, which I hopefully it wasn't, but it turns out it was going to be. So, unfortunately, the also Zerma had a protect, so it has a, uh, obviously, a sub the two, belly jump, protect, and aqua jet set. I've seen, seen these plenty of times. Then the opponent's gonna go Terra themselves into a water type, and <laughs> that wasted their Terra technically. And the belly drum, it's gonna fail, fortunately. So I really had nothing else to exactly do to this battle. I just went to just keep uh, attacking my Dragonite until the uh, uh, Zoomer was low enough HP. So I was thinking, well, um, I might as well just uh, see if I can find a way to the lowest HP, which I did by using Fire Spin. Then the opponent's gonna start substituting. I was like, well, this is just kind of boring. So you know what, people? This is pretty much it. So I pretty much swapped my Dragonite back into Arbolivia and see if we can pull the Arbolivia sweep. As I said, this took uh, not. This was just a, basically a random battle, and uh, yeah, we pulled it off with a lucky sweep. I hope you enjoy this one, and enjoy the mighty Arbolivia. Alright guys, I hope you guys enjoy that salty rage quit. Literally, I was about to get a sweep there and the opponent rage quit for no reason. I would have guaranteed get the sweep here, like hear me out. I would have got the, the grassy train was active, I would have gone for the giga drain, the opponent would have probably go for a Zermeril with probably this huge power, I would have probably lived that, get my Salic Berry, get the one uh, uh, plus speed, because if you don't want to didn't get it, uh, if you didn't find out, this was a Salic Berry strategy and you'll probably see one in the third battle. And I would have probably outspeed the Coridon because, well, most likely, I mean, if, I, if they didn't have any outspeed, like, if they didn't use Coridon this entire battle, what was the point of not, like, but if, like, they could have countered my uh, Arbolivia with just, just by sending it in. But for some reason, they didn't, so I guess it would have been a, some sort of Coridon set that had nothing, like, that's not as, like, good as possible, like, some of the other sets. So I would have assumed they would have had some strange meme set. 
and because I wouldn't have low in HP, I would have just had to gleam it, one shot it, and get the sweep. So unfortunately, this was another salty battle, so I hope you enjoy this one. Let's go ahead and jump into the third battle, and we pretty much did the exact same thing, and I hope you enjoy this one. So really, I wasn't really most likely go for these sweeps, I just went just straight out the bat, and that's it. <laughs> So yeah, for this battle, exactly the same thing. Hope you enjoy this one. And I just went, just swapped in my Dragonite, went for Rock Tomb, got Spice, and then swapped in the mighty Oblivia. Enjoy. We didn't exactly win. I deserve another another battle. Here's a bonus one. Alright guys, hope you guys enjoy all of those four battles. Man, that was so crazy. I actually can't believe I actually got all those sweeps with a success. And maybe one that wasn't really fully a sweep, but I was glad I was accepted. So yeah, <laughs> let's explain the Oblivia set and let me explain what exactly happened in this battle. So, first of all, this was a speedy Salak Berry strategy, Oblivia. And this challenge was obviously using me as using a speedy set because, well, first of all, Oblivious Speed is absolutely amazing, as you can tell. So, <laughs> we obviously had to run a speedy set for this one. And by using Harvest as Salic Berry, it actually worked pretty fine. Now, I would have actually could use a bit of help with Sunny Day. I could have actually used some Sunny Day uh, on my team. But I was actually using a random uh, team that I had on my build. As you see, I didn't have any competitive moves as much, or exactly um, <laughs> the best move pull with the team. I just run it for memes and try and get some good content with it. And uh, got a uh, Oblivious Sweep without even too much working with it. So, f let's explain. So, this is a max special attack, max speed with modest nature, because we need as much base power. Because, well, that's where we're going to be most likely running anyways. And once it's... Uh, uh, what? <laughs> what did it say? <laughs> I don't know what to say, but it just... It's a try and wipe it out. All right, <laughs> but uh, I might as well get. I need to get as much damage as possible because obviously we're gonna run. Well, most likely we're not gonna run too much of its speed because we need as uh, because our salic barrier is gonna be consumed every time once we're uh, below at least well 
one out of four technically out of uh, HP because well that's how it works one out of four of maximized HP you'll consume the berry and once it's harvest 50-50 uh, activates um, it will uh, regain its uh, berry and technically it will give hundred percent if it's in the Sun which would have worked <laughs> if I would have done it but I decided not to because that would be kind of <laughs> kind of uh, like overdoing it so uh, I did not want to do that so yeah but let's explain so we got max uh, special attack <laughs> max speed with modest nature for the defense we run dazzling gleam growth giga drain and terror blast now for this strategy I used growth to increase my special attack by at least one or two stages, most likely need at least two or three. Uh, we have Giga Drain as our main move because that's the, our biggest and strongest stab type uh, for grass type, most likely. Technically, it's Leaf Storm, but we <laughs> we obviously know what Leaf Storm does. And I run Giga Drain to recover my HP in case I can get I don't get my if I can't knock out a specific uh, Pokemon, then I have Giga Drain to recover. And every time I use uh, well well the amount of times I grow and then I use Giga Drain that'll just uh, recover my health just enough so I can get my Selic Berry so if the opponent hits uh, much more then um, then I can use Giga Drain and keep going it until I can consume my Selic Berry and potentially outsped them and also it's good for uh, it's also the strongest uh, grass type besides um, well then again it does have uh, some other cool special moves I mean <laughs> I mean let's see here we got technically we have also Let's see, we have Solar Beam, we have, let's see, we have Petal Dance, <laughs> but that's a, that's a risky move, and yeah, that's really, it. actually, <laughs> not really much other than that. Um, so that's why you run Giga Drain. Then we have um, <laughs> Dazzle Gleam for um, Dark Types, Dragon Types, and that's really it, I think. I don't think I got anything other than that, so yeah. <laughs> so dark and dragon type is the one thing you want would definitely want to have on your arsenal. I mean, it's also it's another. It's an actually technically a coverage move, so you could actually have Dazzle Gleam, Earth Power, or or like Weather Ball, if you ever want to. <laughs> but then again, you can also have like Pollen Puff, and also. Um, See, we also have, or you also have um, Hyper Voice technically, but you're probably gonna need a Terra Normal type, which probably the best option if I were to say it myself. I mean, it's, a, it's another stat type, so you could have used Hyper Voice Terra Normal, <laughs> and potentially avoid like, um, or like it can you can just increase your special attack or get a little bu uh, buff on the Hyper Voice, which should do but they have a lot of damage. And also, you could technically do is have it as a Terra Ghost for Fighting type. If you would want to, which oh yeah, by the way, I totally forgot. Uh, dark dragon and fighting is also. <laughs> I totally forgot fighting was its weak, uh, another fair type's weakness. So that's another one. And I also have terror blast, and I decided I want to go for fire because a lot of there's a lot of um, monsters. I mean, with being a grass and normal type, <laughs> there's a lot of a few weakness against um, with obviously fire type. So I decided I want to run fire because it's super effective against obviously grass. Um, ice, <laughs> most likely. <laughs> uh, I mean, okay, we have uh, well, wait, Terra Blast is throwing. Okay, fire is good against uh, grass, ice, bug, definitely. I feel like so, and uh, well, technically not poison exactly, but it does a lot of damage to poison type. In older games, uh, the older generations, um, poison was weak against fire technically, but no, it doesn't. It's just neutral. But yeah. And uh, other than that, that's pretty much uh, all the strategy for this uh, Arbolivia that I run. Um, if you really want to run something more stalling and more like different set, you could run. I mean, you could actually technically run something more competitively using like Sunny Day, and obviously <laughs> you can run like uh, I can recommend you see this set. I mean, we have we have Strain Sap. You can run. You can run. Uh, <laughs> Terrain Pulse for Sea Power as it's the uh, one. Uh, we got also Petraea Berry you can run in case you want to have a, uh, a special attack buff. Uh, Earth Power for Steel and Electric. Uh, then you can run, let me see, what can else you can run? You can also run, I mean, 
if you want to, you could run synthesis as well. But then again, you have uh, you have uh, already strength zap, so that's a thing. And you could also also run technical. I mean, you could also run um, light screen, so you can get a little bit of an extra s slight buff on the special attack or special defense. Uh, uh, buff, on, yeah, a little bit extra defense or special defense on it with light screen. But exactly, this set will only work um, if you don't run a speedy set. So yeah. Uh, then you have to decide with rather Terra, and if I were you, you probably would have, I mean, I would have gone for a Ghost for fighting types and stuff, but if you want to have some more immunity for, like, Ras types, you can run, like, um, you could run, um, I mean, Ground type could be another one, and you could also decide to, I mean, this is probably the best anyways, so you could run Max Special Attack, String Sap, and... That's pretty much it, I would say. But uh, other than that, C power, not the most best option I would run. So unfortunately for the sweep, you only got to see Harvest. But anyways, people, that's pretty much it for the uh, Opera Libya uh, set. I'm actually planning to do more uh, showdown sweeps and stuff. Maybe some other time, but for now, I'm only going to show you the Opera Libya. And I hope you guys and girls enjoy this one. Um, if you ever want to decide me want to battle me on showdown as well in the future, Maybe I can do some battles and do some showdowns and, you know, do some, just some fun time videos. But for now, this is the only battle I got to show you today. And I might actually, I think I have another sweep for tomorrow. I think we have two, or actually, I think we have two sweeps we have to upload. And this one only has one because this one took a lot of time to handle. So, uh, yeah. But anyways, that's pretty much it for the uh, Bolivia sweep. Hope you guys enjoy. And as always... Stay lucky out there.